Welcome to another one of my videos. My name is Chris and I am the creator of all of the videos here at Math Meeting. My goal for this channel is to create as many free, fun, and simple math tutorials to help you from basic level math all the way through upper level calculus and statistics. And here in this video we have a fun algebra word problem which can be solved using factoring. So let's get started right away. So here in this problem we have a garden which has a rectangular shape. And we know that the total area of this garden is 84 square feet. Now the architect wants to make the length 8 feet longer than the width. So using this information that I have given you, I want you to find the dimensions of this garden. Find the length and find the width. Once again, the total area is 84 square feet and the length must be 8 feet longer than the width. So pause the video now if you need to take out a piece of pen and paper, work on it as long as you need and I will show you the solution in 5 seconds. So how do we solve this word problem? The first thing I would do is label the length and the width of the garden. I always recommend to draw a diagram and label as much as possible. So let's start by labeling the width of the rectangle. Let's let the width of the rectangle be represented by the letter X. Now we know if the width has a distance of X, then the length of the rectangle must have a distance of X plus 8 because we said the length must be 8 feet longer than the width. So now that we've labeled a rectangle, now let's find the area of the rectangle. And we know that the formula for an area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. The area is equal to the length times the width. And now we have a lot of information which we can substitute into this equation. Now we know that the length of the rectangle has a distance of x plus 8, so we can substitute x plus 8 in for the length. Uh, we know that the width has a distance of x, so we can substitute an x in for the width. And we know that the area of the rectangle is equal to 84 square feet, so we can substitute 84 in for the area. So now at this point, we just need some algebra and we can solve for x. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll multiply the right side of the equation, the x times the x plus 8. And to do this, I'll multiply x times x, which is equal to x squared, plus x times 8, which is equal to a positive 8x. Now notice how we have an x squared term in our equation, which is our highest power. If the square term is the highest power, that means we have a quadratic equation. And the quickest way to solve a quadratic equation is by factoring. So I always recommend factoring if it is possible to factor the equation. And this quadratic equation certainly is factorable, so let's do it. So step number one in solving a quadratic equation by factoring is set the equation equal to zero. So let's get rid of this 84 on the one side of the equation by subtracting 84 from both sides. And after we subtract 84 from both sides of the equation, on one side of the equation we have a positive 84 and a negative 84 which is equal to 0 and on the other side of the equation we have x squared plus 8x minus 84. So now at this point we have set our equation equal to 0 and we are ready to factor. And the first thing I always do when factoring is create two parentheses. Now notice in front of the x squared term you do not see a coefficient. There actually is a coefficient, even though you don't see it. There's an implied 1, because 1 times x squared is just x squared. But anytime you do not see a coefficient in front of the x squared term, this means that the first two terms on the left side of each parentheses is going to be an x. This is because x times x is going to give us our x squared term. So now at this point, we need to fill in the right side of each parentheses. So in order to do this, we need to find two numbers that multiply and equal our constant on the right of negative 84. And these same two numbers also need to add or subtract to equal our middle constant 
of positive 8. So the two numbers that fit this criteria are negative 6 and positive 14. Negative 6 times positive 14 is equal to negative 84, which is our constant on the right. And negative 6 plus positive 14 is equal to positive 8, which is our coefficient in the middle. So now that we factored our equation, now we can try and solve for x. And the only thing we need to do to solve for x is set each parentheses equal to 0. Uh, this is because if 0 is multiplied by anything, the result is going to be equal to 0, which would make our equation true. And notice how the parentheses are being multiplied by each other. So if any of the parentheses are equal to 0, 0 times anything will equal 0. Once again, our equation will be true. So let's start by setting the x minus 6 parentheses equal to 0. If we solve for x, then we'll get x is equal to positive 6. And let's set the x plus 14 parentheses equal to 0. And if we solve for x, then we get x is equal to negative 14. So notice that we have two solutions to our quadratic equation, which is completely normal. However, for this particular example, we are not allowed to have a negative solution. That's because we are dealing with distance. X represents the width of the rectangle or the distance of the width of the rectangle and distance can never be negative. So because distance can never be negative, then our negative solution is not valid. And the only solution to this equation is X is equal to positive six. So now we know that the width x is equal to 6 feet, which means that the length of the rectangle must be equal to 14 feet, because the length must be 8 feet longer than the width. So thank you so much for watching. I have many more videos like this one if you want to keep on learning. All the links are in the screen and in the description. Also, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video or if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one.